Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to you. Um, just want to give you a quick video message this morning. I hope you're well. Um, some thoughts this morning. I'm speaking to someone out there. I'm speaking to you. If you're listening to this video message, and you, if you do not have assurance of your salvation, if you if you are not sure that you are going to heaven. Let's say you, you had a bad day, this bad a bad week this week. Maybe you've done some things and maybe you uh, cussed somebody out, gave, gave them the business, and today you're feeling pretty bad or maybe you even got fired today. Um, just know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. That's in the Bible. Just know that that he that began began a good work in you will complete it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Okay? So whatever your flesh did this week, it does not count to does not count for your um, keep you away from the right standing of God. You are in right standing the moment you believe. You are in Christ. Our flesh will get the best of us sometime. Um, we're because we're still stuck on this earth. We are not perfect. We we are going to fail. We're going to mess up, and God knows that. That's why He sent Jesus, right? That's why He sent His only begotten Son down to take away the sins of the world. We place our trust in what He did at the cross, the death, burial, and resurrection. We are in Christ. We've been baptized into Christ. Baptized spiritually, not water baptism. Water baptism does not save you. Spiritual baptism. Being immersed in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit dwells inside of you. So if you had a bad week and you're thinking, yeah, I might not even be saved. You know, I, we had a, um, you know, sometimes if you get around people, you can you can start acting like those people. You can you can actually your flesh will start taking on their language. Your flesh can taking can take on their habits, especially if you're in a uh, work environment that you have a lot of uh, fleshy people. You know they just they just blow out curse words and and it's very difficult for the flesh to train the flesh. You know that's why we have to. You know I come. Every morning I come to the Lord. Every I try to come to the Lord every morning and die to my flesh and, and crucify it. It's been crucified already, but I have to, personally, I have to come in, in the morning and say, Lord, I want to live for you today. So give me the strength. You know, remind me. Holy Spirit will convict us of righteousness. He doesn't convict the believer of sin. He convicts of righteousness. Okay? And to remind me who I am and whose I am. And be that ambassador for Christ. So when you do get around people that are of the world or fleshy. or um, you, you, can, you can stand in the Holy Spirit. You can stand in Christ. And put, armor, put your whole armor of God in. On stand therefore, right? So we have to stand therefore. Put on your whole armor of God for that reason. So we, do, so we don't fall in to uh, temptation fall into sin but if you if you did sin if you are not sure if you don't have any assurance you might be mad at God right now you might be shaking your fist asking why why are you at you know you might be asking why God well there are no whys in heaven okay there there is only faith there's only faith that's the only thing he can he can uh assure you of is that you are his and he will never leave you nor forsake you no man can pluck you out of his hand so come to him be honest with our heavenly father he sees he sees what, what you've done already he, he he knows it that's why he had to go to the cross and he paid that penalty of sin for us but we can stand we can go boldly to the throne jump on our father's lap and tell him about your day. Tell him about your week, the week that you had. And just go day by day. But anyways, I think someone needed to hear that this morning. If you don't have assurance of your salvation, you know the Bible says 
you are saved. Ephesians chapter 1, verses uh, 13 and 14. You, once you heard the gospel, you believe the gospel, you are saved. It's a one-time singular event. So, the process is, the process is our, our daily growth in Christ, not salvation process. There is no salvation. But once you've been um, justified by believing the gospel, you are justified once and for all. That's a one-time, that's a one-time event that happened to you. So rest in the hammock of grace this morning. Rest in the assurance that you have in God. Because His Word is sure. His Word will never um, waver. It's, it has always been the same. He's a stable rock. Okay, Christ is the stable rock. So if you're listening to this video message and, and you're beating yourself up, you know, it's time, time to quit kicking yourself and start just lift your head up to the skies, lift your eyes to the skies, and thank God for what He has done on that cross. Remind yourself of the gospel. If you're hurting this morning, remind yourself the death, burial, and the resurrection. He, he paid your sin. He paid your sin debt. You can't pay it. He, he had to pay it. He paid it, and that's where our gratitude, that's where we serve out of. That's where we worship out of. We worship out of that gratitude. We worship out of grace. And grace brings gratitude. Grace brings a, a gra an attitude of gratitude. So that's where we um, abide in there. So just, just know that God loves you. And you will make mistakes. You will continue to make mistakes. You know, ask Peter. You know, he denied Christ three times. He blew out some curse words. On top of that, like a David, the Old Testament. You know, he committed adultery with Bathsheba and had her husband killed. I mean, what David did, and if you go go back, if you are hurting this morning, and it feels like you need to uh, recommit to the Lord, quote unquote, whatever that means now, but go to Psalm 51 and read Psalm 51 and, and see, uh, you'll, you will read how David, you know, as soon as he, uh, I think it's, Psalm 51, don't quote me on this, Psalm 51 verses around 10, 11, 12, somewhere around there after he, you know, lamented and said, God, please don't take your Holy Spirit from me. That In that time, the Holy Spirit had a different office. The Holy Spirit came upon people, not in, came upon. And whereas in this this age, is the Holy Spirit indwells us. And praise God for that because he seals us, right? He's our seal. But back then, you know, you'll see David, please, Lord, don't take that Holy Spirit from me. The Holy Spirit came upon people, okay? And right afterwards, he says, then I will teach transgressors. He will go from, he went from a, a dirty, rotten sinner, you know, don't know what he did, and coming to the Lord, getting renewed, renew a right spirit within me, O Lord. That's what he says, renew a right spirit within me. And then right after right after that, he starts, he said, I will teach. Okay. I mean, he went from, <laughs> it seems like sackcloth and ashes to, I'm wearing my robe now and I'm going to start teaching. You know, teach sinners. Uh, so, anyway, read Psalm 51. If you're hurting this morning, read, read that uh, Psalm from David. It's very, very encouraging. It's probably one of my favorite ones, really. Because David is so, you know, he's just so real. But, you know, rest assured, you know, even the prophets, even, <laughs> you know, they've all messed up. That's why God used them. You know, that's why he, he um, he's able to use those folks as an illustration for us. You know, so look, these guys, these jokers here, they're not any better. You know, they, I, I you know, they're prophets. They, you know, uh, they made mistakes, but I'm going to use them. He will use you. You know, he'll use anybody. Go read Amos. Amos is funny. That's a funny book, too. Uh, Amos blew out some words, you know, um, some in his book. Amos, I like Amos. Amos was a farmer, okay? He just, he told it like it was. He had plain speech. He told it like it was. So, um, anyway, 
be encouraged. Go back and read Psalm 51 if you're hurting today. I love you. I hope everyone have a wonderful Friday. Bye-bye.